principal angle. It is the counterclockwise angle between the initial arm and the terminal arm of an angle in standard position. So let's draw one and then see what we are talking about. So that is our coordinate plane. Whenever we say standard position, it means <coughs> vertex is at the origin, right? So vertex is at origin and initial arm is along x axis. So that is our standard position, right? Now, any angle, terminate, terminal arm could be anywhere in any quadrant. Let's say this is our terminal arm, right? So initial arm is along the positive x axis, vertex is at the origin, and let's say this is our terminal arm in quadrant 2, right? In that case, what is the principal angle? The principal angle is the angle which is always measured counterclockwise, like this. So that is the principal angle from initial to terminal arm. So this is our initial arm, and that is our terminal arm, right? And that angle theta, as it moves counterclockwise, is the principal angle. So principal angle is always positive. Since you are moving counterclockwise, the angle is always positive, right? So, so first thing to remember is principal angle is always positive. Second is what could be its value? Its value could be from 0 to 360, right? Once you make the second rotation, it again starts from 0, again goes from 0 to 360. So its value is always between 0 to 360 degrees. That is principal angle. So whenever you have an angle in standard position, then you learned about that this angle could be positive or negative. But in case it is positive when you do counterclockwise and negative when you go clockwise but since principal angle is an angle which is measured when you move from initial to terminal arm in counterclockwise right so it has to be always positive <clears throat> so that is kind of very critical second most important is that the principal angle is only between 0 to 360 degrees right so remember we have learned about related acute angle which is from 0 to 90 degrees and in the next video We'll learn about coterminal angle, which could be much, which could have, which has no limits, right? Which could be more than 360 degrees, correct? So many circles will add 360 times those many circles. So the angle could be representative of how many circles do you make, right? How many times you rotate about the origin, okay? So I'd like you to go through the videos in sequence first angle measurement, second standard position, third related acute angle, fourth principal angle, and the fifth co-terminal angle. After that, we'll have a small quiz on this, okay? Thank you.